Hello and welcome back to my Fallout 4 Far Harbor experience. I hope you don't mind, but I had Chase shadow you. She saw you entering and leaving the nucleus. And Faraday tells me that there's been some theft from his office. A certain computer program he and I had been working on. So, you know about my memories. I can only ask you to return whatever you found to me. They are mine, after all. Your memories led me to a gravesite. You killed Captain Avery, and replaced her with a synth, so you could control Far Harbor. What? That's impossible. Let me see what you found. I... I did it. I killed a woman from Far Harbor and replaced her. I stripped a synth's identity from her and made her an agent. Let's be practical. How do we proceed from here? You're right. We have to focus on what has to be done now. Is that what you call justice? Because I sure don't. I'm... starting to see things more clearly. We have to keep this secret from Far Harbor. If they knew I had done this, they wouldn't destroy just me. They'd come after Acadia, and then without us, the fog condensers will eventually fall into disrepair. Everyone will die. I... have an idea. There's still a way we can bring peace. But the fact that I've replaced a human with a synth must remain hidden. I'll keep your secret, Dima. Thank you. Maybe the... guilt... will keep me focused. That didn't seem to stop him before. As horrifying as it might be to suggest, this memory you've recovered has given us a new option. If Far Harbor could be made more tranquil by our intervention, then perhaps the same trick will work twice on the children of Atom. We could replace High Confessor Tectus with someone willing to forgive Far Harbor and work towards reconciling. All right. Tell me what your plan is. This will be difficult for both of us, but I think it's our only option. I'll need you to leverage your access to the High Confessor and lure him to a secluded location. You should be able to find a spot in the Bay's old command center where you can deal with him discreetly and hide the remains. Once your work is done, return here and the replacement will move in and take command. We have to kill the High Confessor. It would be the most reliable way of dealing with him. But any method that removes Tectus from power indefinitely should work. Okay. I'll do it. Any ideas on how I can get him alone? Tectus lives in fear of being usurped by his predecessor, Martin. Despite that, in all likelihood, Martin is dead, but if you somehow uncovered evidence of Martin's imminent return, I expect Tectus would be interested hearing all you know in private. All we have to do is manufacture Martin's uprising. To do so, I'll need raw material. Martin recorded many of our conversations. Those in the nucleus have certainly been destroyed. But I built a small refuge for Martin many years ago, when he needed respite from the family. Go there and collect any tapes you can find. I'll begin work on our replacement. And here, I want you to have this as well, for what you've done for us.
So a quick system check, let's see what this place is, all the, uh, all the missions that I've got to do, and the missions I have done, and the missions that yet to do. So, as you can see, I haven't helped anyone at Far Harbour yet, but of course I will do. And you uh, see the roadmap, that I, like, all the missions that I did when I started for Far Harbour has led me to this point here, of capturing this settlement. Obviously I can't capture it yet because I've still got to help the people of Far Harbour before I can see Small Bertha. And she's the one to see about this one, this place here. Yes, there's an albino crab over there. I'm going to leave that crab there uh, for specific reasons. If anyone attacks, well, it won't be attacking from that side with that crab there, you see. That's the whole idea of leaving it in place. Right, let's get down the road and uh, get these tapes and uh, get this party tied. Dima, I recovered the tapes from Martin's hideout. Excellent. Yes. These look like they'll serve. Let me take a listen. Hmm. Good to hear his voice again. Oh. Some grim material to work with. There. No pleasure in twisting the words of an old friend. But I believe Martin would understand. This tape should be sufficient to pique the High Confessor's interest in joining you in the command center. But Tectus is nothing if not wary. 
Earning his trust before approaching should help guarantee this all plays out more smoothly. You'll then have to dispose of the remains. Old maintenance shaft walls were never terribly well maintained. They should be able to serve your needs. Once you're done, return here and we'll send the replacement on his way. Now, are you ready to begin? I'm ready. Then I won't keep you any longer. Here, the tape. The fate of this island rests in our works. Excuse me, High Confessor? Greetings, my child. You know you've set quite the example here. True devotion to faith and family. Now, how may I serve? I recovered a holotape. Confessor Martin is planning to come back and take over. We should come up with a plan, but not here. The command center tunnels should be far enough away from the rest of the children. Martin! It can't! Play it. I want to hear that coward's voice. Tectus, time is over. The nucleus must prepare for a new order. Mine. I can't believe it. He's alive. None of the other children can know about this. The command center, you said. I'll ensure we aren't disturbed. Child, show yourself. Ah, there you are. Now, Martin, tell me what you found. You're sure you weren't followed? You needn't worry. Martin has no ears down here. Now, what can you tell me? It's over, Tectus. Demas sent me to kill you, and I will if I have to. But if you agree to leave for good, I'll let you live. You're working for... You're not bluffing, are you? There is no place beyond his reach on this island, is there? Fine. The... The damned machine will have what it wishes. It sounds like quite the experience. But I'm glad to know there will be peace on the island again. Atom's vision was clear on the matter. I... I must thank you again for sheltering me while under its sway. Think nothing of it. You're welcome to stay as long as you like. You are too kind, Ema. I should only need just a little more fresh air. I suppose you've heard the news? The High Confessors had a vision. Atom demands peace. Can I assume you're here to tell me your task is done? I convinced him to leave the island and never return. You did? Hm. 
Perhaps not an ideal resolution, but I suppose the end result is the same. Peace can finally come to the island. It's a heavy burden what we've done, but now the Nucleus, Far Harbor, and Acadia will all flourish together. It was the right thing to do. It was necessary. Hope for a better future. That will be the judge of our actions. I'll handle things from here. I'll arrange talks between the Children of Adam and Far Harbor. They will learn to prosper together, under our guidance. The Children will revel in their irradiated bastion. The Harbor Men will continue to survive and reclaim what the fog has taken from them. And my people will remain safe. Here, for all you've done. You should also pay a visit to the Nucleus. I believe the High Confessor will want a word with you. And of course, you are welcome in Acadia whenever you like. After all, where would we be without you? In the throes of a brilliant vision, he spoke, and now I obey. Atom demands peace. With Far Harbor, with Acadia, within our family. And any found disobeying Atom's word will answer for their crimes. Let none stand in the way of his radiant Glory to Atom! Glory to Atom! Excuse me, High Confessor? You. I knew it. I knew it was you. In my vision, there, beside our brilliant master. Here, you must have this. It, it only seems right it's worn by his favored child. Well, that sort of wraps up this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. I've covered a lot of missions on this one, and I shall see you all again very soon. Bye for now.